Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, uh, we're going to state and prove the divergence test. Now, there's a long list of convergence tests that you need to learn, but the divergence test should be exactly the fourth one. The first one should be the infinite geometric series, which you ought to be familiar with from pre-calc or earlier. Uh, and then you should learn the famous harmonic series. After that, the alternating harmonic series, and then the fourth one you learn should be the divergence test. Because technically, before you apply any other uh, test for convergence, you should first use the divergence test. It's a quick way uh, to see if a given series diverges. As the name says, uh, it's a test for divergence. It doesn't tell you if a given series converges. Uh, formally stated, it says this. Given an infinite series like this, if this infinite series converges, then the limit is n goes to infinity of a sub n needs to equal zero. Said differently, if the limit is n goes to infinity of a sub n is not equal to zero, then this infinite series diverges. Yeah? Okay, but the converse is not true, which is uh, knowing that the limit is n goes to infinity of a sub n is equal to zero doesn't guarantee that you converge. Um, and an example of uh, how the converse is not true is the famous harmonic series. Uh, and that's because the harmonic series has a sub n equal to 1 over n, uh, and therefore, limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n is equal to 0. But the harmonic series is famous for being divergent. And by the way, I already have a video uh, showing why the harmonic series diverges, and I also have uh, a video on uh, the alternating harmonic series, so I'll link both of those videos below this. Now. I uh, claimed that I will prove this divergence test. So let's get on with the proof. So the proof goes like this. Um, for an infinite sequence, a1, a2, a3, a n, dot, 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 uh, s sub n is called the nth partial sum. So s sub n would be like if we added a1, a2, a3, all the way to a n. And therefore, s sub k would be like if we added a1, a2, a3, all the way to a sub k. Yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you get the idea of partial sums. Now, if we have an infinite uh, sequence of uh, partial sums, so S1, S2, S3, dot, 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 then if the infinite sequence of partial sums converges to a finite number S, then uh, our series this also converges. Because like saying that the infinite sequence of partial sums converges to some number S is like saying S infinity is equal to S. But S infinity is this. So if we state that succinctly, we're saying this. Which is limit as n goes to infinity of S sub n is equal to S means that S is also in turn equal to this because this is equal to this. Yeah? Okay, okay, okay. And this obviously is our infinite series. Yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Um, now, where to from here? Well, first, uh, if... The limit is n goes to infinity of s sub n goes to infinity. Clearly, our series diverges. So let's say that and then do the following. Note that a sub n is equal to this here. This minus this. And that's because like if you like subtract these two items, clearly everything will cancel except for a sub n. So this equation is true, right? But wait. This here is s sub n. It's the nth partial sum. And this here is s sub n minus 1. It's the n minus first partial sum. Yeah? So that's to say that a sub n is equal to s sub n minus s sub n minus 1. Okay. So then the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of this difference. So that's this. And then now, in this part, applying the limit rule over this difference, we can see that the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n is equal to this. But wait, uh, if the uh, sequence of partial sums converges to the finite number s, this is equal to s, and this is equal to s. So we have the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n is equal to s minus s, or 0, as required. Yeah? Okay, cool. Now, as you can see, the divergence test is pretty simple. You saw how I applied it to the harmonic series uh, earlier in this video. And so, like, it doesn't require a lot of examples. But I'll provide one additional uh, video on the divergence test, giving you two examples. Uh, and then uh, past that, there will be lots more convergence tests with many examples and proofs. 
So uh, look out for all the videos to come. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this and take care.